Oh man, if someone gave me a call, I think I'd call him a little worse. A little something a little worse than a witch. I'm gone. You can't what see the me. Hell are you doing? Playing with myself. I need a little privacy. What can I say? Shut up in there, will you? Oh, so help me God if they open this goddamn door. Shut up in there, will you? Or what? Why don't you come in here and make me? Shut up in there, will you? Okay. God damn it! I wanted to torture Johnny a little bit more. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why, Why isn't Johnny telling me it? to shut up? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines and the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I'm all he's got, yet he won't fucking tell me anything. God damn Shut it. up! Or what? Shut up! Or what? Didn't think so. Shut up! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> Shut up in there, will ya? Oh, why don't you come in here and make me? Shut up! Oh, he won't. He, well, he's completely immune to my insults. Ah. Uh, Time to run around in circles and throw up or something. Uh. Shut up! What? I wasn't doing anything. 
Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. The only thing I can. It's okay, I'll just talk to people. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. Yeah, I'll use I'll use space magic to go through the door. Some shit. What's the survival expert got to say? Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Yay me and the power of button mashing. That makes me strong. Uh, I wish. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Yay, the power of friendship. Awesome. Does she have anything to say? Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. Take it. They will take it. Oh man, this fucking bed is all bloody. I can't sleep Stay. on that shit. It's showtime. Asala wants you. Showtime. Showtime. I don't see any Anthony Pettis around. I ain't gonna eat no goddamn showtime kick. Must be crazy. Oh boy, more torture. Okay, I'll tell you once more. I heard you. It hasn't been that long. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain oh, your strength. I don't want to do this. When you've had enough, <laughs> press the select button to submit. The, the funny thing is, when your still... life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. What about Russia? Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian guerrilla. Ah, there we go. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? I think the, be the best part about this is the stealth camel okay, is actually a lot better go. than the infinite bandana, by far. You'd have to work a lot harder for the infinite bandana. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, let's start off slow. No need to strain myself. Uh, perfect. No need to strain. How did you like that? Oh, I loved it. Please, may I have Shall another? Shall we go again? No, oh, you were reading my mind. Someone's been talking to Psycho Mantis a little bit too long. Speed this up a little bit. Won't strain myself too hard. And for the finish! Yeah, good stuff. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. Good, I wasn't finished either. Plenty of plenty of hand strength to go around. Oh, now we now we put on the afterburners. Oh shit. Man, you have to do this like six times on extreme too. That's just fucked up, man. You still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? Uh, I don't want to, but I will. Damn, what an ass. Uh, I'm trying my brother's technique of vibrating my hand. Ah, uh, well, that's kind of working. I could strain your hand pretty easy, though. <laughs> vibrating You're a strong my hand. Man. That's well, that's funny. enough for now, I think. I can think of some more practical uses for techniques like that. Age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. 
So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. Oh, is that it? I wanted to hear more about Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, and Nash. Or is that not what he was talking about? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. New, new, new world order. Definitely don't do that justice. God damn it, Otacon, where are you at? Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? No, I've got a dead guy I next to me. I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Well, I could think of a way to blow two or three minutes, but that's about it. <sighs> I'm running circles till something happens. Look at all the, all the scenery in here. Or that'll work. That'll make things easier. You okay, Snake? Yeah, nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake, I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. You can overdose me too. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. Does it have what? to be my arm? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Does it have to be my arm? Okay, here I go. Oh, it's getting too hot for TV. Oh, that feels good. That's it? How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I Space stimulated magic. your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please, tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the trauma that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Yeah, is why? He's a dirty fucking liar. No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. 
Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Oh, come on, don't tell me you buy that bullshit. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. Aww, don't get your yeah, hot, you little bunch. I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're alright. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Yeah, I think I've got a few ideas up my sleeve, and I like how... <laughs> oh man, you can just call us anytime, even though I'm kind of being watched right now. Uh, that does not make any sense! Whatever, then again, it's not really Please, supposed Nick, to. don't give up! Who said anything about giving up? Colonel, I need help! The guard is only human. Oh, you has already to... said that. You're useless. <sighs> oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, I know that feeling. Oh, 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 oh! I definitely don't do that. Well, oh, oh my kidney, I may have done that run once or twice in my life. Oh man, goddamn, he got ants in his pants. My ants, I mean, brown volcano lava. <laughs> Or just brown lava. Then brown volcano lava it kind of sounds a little silly. Ah, hey, who opened that goddamn door? I hear footsteps. I see stealth camo. What's up, you big hey, bitch? I'm here. What's up, brother? Where? Oh, come on, you can see him. Oh, Otacon, you and your stealth it's tech. Me. I appreciate Otacon. it. Wow, they even capture you. Hurry, get me out of here. Hey, let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go! Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell! Yeah, I kinda had to do number two in the corner. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief! Yeah! You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards! This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here, then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Oh, yeah. Please don't hurt That's why she shot Meryl Wake in the up, face. Idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. See? There you go. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. 
Come on, I'm trying my best. Yeah, get a gun. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. Oh my... I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Well, my gear's behind the thing. Come on now. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. God damn it. No. Wait. I know. The gun's in there. Get it. You don't have to go anywhere. You chicken shit bastard. That's okay. I can use my noggin. And... What the? How, how do I use it? What the? Damn it. No. Come back. Come back. <laughs> 